Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Floor. And I hope you guys are doing great. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And please comment down below for what my next video should be. So, for today's vlog guys, as I promised, I will give you the tips of an interview for your future house family. So, let's start. The first tip that I can give is that you should wear a proper clothes. Of course, guys, it's really, really a first impression for you of what you are wearing on your first interview with your host family. So, kung ako sa inyo, you should wear something that is presentable. Yes, and that is something that you're comfortable with. So, di ba, mas maganda na presentable siya at the same time comfortable ka. So, every time you talk to your host family, you are comfortable and you are confident about your clothes so yeah i think it's the best way for you to impress with your host family the second is you should be on time guys yeah you should be on time on the said interview but for me the only um, the only thing is that you should be also um, advance, you know, for example, they say that you guys are doing the interview around 10 a.m. But for me, you should go before 10 a.m., maybe 10 minutes before the interview because that time you can make yourself ready and also that time you can practice all the things that you want to say to them. So that's it, you should be on time and you should be ready before the time of your interview. So next, um, third is that review your host family profile. And um, some au pairs, um, some au pairs, uh, they have those profiles that given by their agencies or by their future host family. So <clears throat> if ever they give you their profile, you should review it. So during the interview, you can say anything or you can ask anything from their profile pero kapag wala naman silang binigay sa yo na profile so you can just skip this tips so next is prepare some questions that you might ask to to your host family yeah um it's really important guys that you should prepare some questions of course those questions are from your own thoughts you know during the interview, uh, you gain some information from their family, so you should take note also, guys. And those take notes, those notes, you can use it. Uh, you can use it to make some questions for them in the future, and it will help you for a better understanding of their life or of their family. So that's it. And those questions can be made. Um, yeah, those questions can be made because those things are not said by your future house family. Yeah, and it's really better, guys, for you to take notes of what are they saying during the interview because it really helps. And they can also think that you are really interested about them and you are really serious about the interview. And you should do also the eye to eye, <laughs> eye to eye to your host family during the interview. It's really, really nice so that your host family thinks that you are listening to them. So. The tips also guys is that you should listen carefully of what are they saying so it really helps next is um you shouldn't be afraid to ask questions for them because it's for your own good too um yeah it's for your own good is ika nga ni susan na wag mahiyang magtanong so it's really nice to ask questions it's also um it's also indication that you are really interested. For me, I really like to ask questions so that I so that I can understand them well. And wag ka pong nito, wag ka pong mag uh, wag ka pong mag pretend na alam mo na po yung sinasabi nila. If ever na wala kang maintindihan sa sinasabi nila, you can ask to repeat them. Don't ever ever be afraid to ask 
them to repeat what they're saying. Kasi uh, kapag sinabi mo na oo, oh, oh, pero hindi mo pala naintindihan. Tapos i-ask ka nila ng questions. Tapos hindi mo masagot. Diba? It's really a shame. So it's really better guys to ask questions for them if wala kayo naintindihan. And also guys, I love those tips that I said earlier. Um, you should be honest with your answers. Because this host family might um, read your profile too or they did already a research about yourself. So it's really, really better to be yourself, to be truth about all the answers that you're going to say. It's really, really better guys to be honest about yourself, to be honest with your future host family. So after all of them guys, you should um you should say thank you after the interview or you should thank you about the compliment that they will give to you um normally um normally they they will compliment you about for being on honest about for being not late for everything that is good so it's better guys or it's really nice guys to say thank you for them especially when ending the conversation when ending the interview and also guys don't forget to smile during the interview it's really nice because when you smile they will think that you're you're lovely they will think that you're a happy person they will see to you that you're comfortable talking with them and as far as i know they really love to talk to the person that don't feel um nervous at all like you feel comfortable while talking to them so i think um, giving them a smile is give, is giving them also a relief for them. Yeah, I think guys, this that would be my last tips of an interview for your future house family. I hope this, uh, all of those tips, I hope all of this will help you guys. And please, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe on this channel and comment down below for what my next video should be. And guys please uh, make also some suggestions what do you want to know about the uber so that's it and thank you for watching bye